And welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. I hope you all had a good weekend. It is Sunday and we got an HRE event. And I am joined by a uh, returning guest commentator. Mr. Doug, how are you, good sir? I'm very good. Thank you, Kotal. Kotal Doug of the CQB here. Yep. And unfortunately, we don't have CQB right now um, playing, but I uh, always like to have Doug. He's been a he's a veteran of this event, so he knows how it goes down. So I'm glad to have him back in the co-commentator chair. Um, now, uh, we'll go a quick uh, roll call for the units as we're getting set here. We'll start out with the CSA team. Let's see, we have on their team the 11th Mississippi here under Pistol Pete. The DB under Nisimo for Georgia under Captain Liam. 20th Georgia under Major Canada. TKO, which is a new unit there in Kentucky under Captain Decoys. Let's see, HD under Colonel Couch. 13th Georgia under Major Cawthon. SR under Tawgray. And I think that's everybody. Um, at least on the infantry, I think there's some RD2. Oh, wait a second, did I miss... I miss JB. I miss JB under, um, not sure who's leading JB. Schumacher, maybe? Yeah, probably Schumacher. Might be, yeah. Alright, we'll swing over, check out the CSA Artie, which is all the way on the other side of the map. We're flying. We're flying! Yeah, it looks like they got one battery here under HL, under Snapperkins. Um,. So that's it for the CSA team. Um, they're live. We'll take a look at the Union team, but even after that, we'll have a little bit of time um, to go over the map. So on the Union team, we have Parker leading the NYV, or the uh, 6 New York, 2 USC under Cap Medi. Let's see who else we got here. We've got Killer leading the ANV, along with Gamebot leading the 6AL element of it. Then we've got, uh, let's see, 4th New Jersey under Victor, 88th under James Wesley. Let's see, then we got LFL under Ark. The uh, UEC contingent under Venom. I think I missed one group over here. And two core here under Fabry. And do they have any already? I don't believe so. I think I caught everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. So, um, now we got a contention game mode here. Um, what do you think? Uh, what are you expecting to see from this kind of map on contention here? Uh, well, with 300 people on one server, it's going to be heavy fighting over every point, of course, because every everyone will consolidate around that area. Um, as we can see now, two the un one union unit here. I think it's A and V. It's pretty close to get behind one of the C's. Basically, be getting behind the entire CSA team here. Almost. Because there will be another regiment behind here. Who's this? I Need believe that's six. Yeah, that's the entire A and V. So it's the two elements of it. Yeah, DB and TKO will be, uh, however, getting in behind them. Even though if Killer is able to, to spot 11th MS... Probably take a charge on them if you can, but the two people, the two regiments behind 11th MS. Oh, yep, and speaking of, here comes Gamebot right behind him. And again, there's no, uh, there's bayonets and sprinting right away. Oh, there it is, first shot of the game. Uh, what is this Gamebot doing a, uh... What are you doing? Oh. Here we go. And Blucher called him a Rambo, and now he ran over there and died as himself of losing five tickets. Yep, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, rambling, but it seemed like it was a full line. And I wouldn't do that charge, I wouldn't do that charge. Aim low, aim low, aim low! Oh, and we had another interception a little bit further back, too. I didn't really catch that of the other A and B element. That kind of stopped the DB over here as well. So what do you think about this uh, initial uh, action here from the A and V? Well, um... They kind of moved to the like right side of point. There's another engagement happening on the left side, by the way, now as we speak. Um, but the Union is able to win that. Uh, 11th MS didn't see the, uh, I think it was the UEC unit incoming. So they basically ran into two regiments here. Yes, that was the, uh, yep, that's uh, CSB guys. So yes, that was the UEC regiment. So, you know, this is kind of interesting here. Um, you know, they didn't all go straight to point. It was kind of an interception. Um, but there Bonk is a charge happening. 
Yep, there's a big fight on point now. But um, it looks Union like hold. the Union's holding it, and I think a big part of that is that interception done by the A and V and UEC. Um, Definitely. They knocked out 11 from us. Really strong regiment that's out of the fight. Um, and the Union can now come up behind HD and HL here if they spot them in time. Yeah, I see Soma, could... I see Soma 2 core kind of launching an attack against HL. Yeah, the Union, if get aggressive now, can team wipe the CSA. I, th I think you're right. This was very aggressive play by the Union. But CSA is pulling back now. Yeah, that's the right move. And they're being pushed off by like six, seven guys. Well, they should have around like 15, 20 people. Yep, you're right. That was just uh, that element of two core. I think it was 6LA. It might have been 14th. I couldn't really tell. No, it was 6LA. Well, the CSA got the gun over here that they can shoot perfectly at point. They can. Um, now, do you think the Union will send an element to try to relieve it or just, just take the already fire and just, you know, leave it be? If they notice them. Well, now they definitely know. Oh, the I, 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 whoever was the, you know, the jelly now, I think, probably <laughs> knows. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, the uh, New York Volunteers here got hit. Yep. <laughs> CSA has a little bit of a ticket deficit here now. Uh, yeah, a little bit, and more importantly, the Union has a pretty good uh, picture here. How would you, uh, how would you think the Union should approach this defense now for this point? And they need to watch out for the forest. Um, because so the you think CSA, the south, yeah. uh, the south kind of approach, south southwest approach. You think? I mean, I probably I don't know if this is in bounds over here, but I would put some people behind the point on the snake fence line. Uh, um, that that's uh, yeah, that's all in bounds actually. Yep. Yeah, but it's now a very, it's a very good map. The... I actually really like this map. It's a it's a very uh, there's a lot of cool little angles to it. But yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you could put a small unit on those rocks here, left of point. And A and V is now pushing into the artillery, uh, together with 2nd USC. Yep, yep, you're right. Uh, chasing them off, maybe getting some good tickets. You run, snappers, you run, good move. We'll force the CSA to put uh, people here, so they cannot focus that much on making a push yep. for point. Oh, by the way, I missed first US sharpshooters in the roll call. I do apologize. They are in there. Oh, but it looks like we got a forward attack as well. Who is this? Uh, Zio Panama is uh, kind of moving forward too as well on the uh, opposite side there. Oh, yeah. He doesn't see the people on his right flank, though. They're in a little bit of a defilade down there. Oh, his private's trying to tell him. Mm -hmm. Oh, but actually, I mean, you look at forward, there's a little bit of a deficit here. So it's, it's a little bit hidden. And you see it's kind of a little bit of a downhill behind those rocks where HL is. Yeah, HL is now going to force the uh, two core to pull back. That's been a big engagement so far. Not many people went down at the beginning. That took them made, took HL quite some time to take those people out. And now A and V is up there shooting at HL. Yeah. Yep. Now, if you were the CSA, where do you think you should attack from? Do you think, uh, I mean, we kind of talked about the south, southwest. Do you think that's the best angle for them? I would full send the forest further left and try to go around them like they are doing right now. This is perfect. So the angle that uh, DB is kind of taking right now, DB4 Georgia? Yeah, DB4 Georgia, I think, doing a pretty good job. LFL intercepted them, but they should be getting knocked out here by those two regiments. Azad! I honestly think that those uh, that 11 MS and HL should push should push up and take the uh, snake fence here now. Yeah. Oh, so Liam can... uh, from Fort Georgia ordered the charge. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's a charge, uh, a charge happening on the other side as well. And if oh, the CSA there is very, through now, very well coordinated. It might not have been directly coordinated, but very good mutual support. Oh yeah. If they break through on one side, um, they can kind of push through. Yeah. I think they want their Audi back because that can perfectly hit point. Although we do have reinforcements. Here come Eddie and his oh, yeah. guys to try to plug the hole. They shouldn't go for the fence line now, though, because the CSA has the fence and they have to cross the field. No, they're all dead. Yeah, you think just hang back at the uh, cannons and caissons and just kind of restrain them, you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. you have cover. You have, like, rocks in the field yeah. as well, the tree. Yeah. Oh, 88th is coming time. up as well. 
They're moving up to the fence line here, actually. Oh, they're not. Hey. See as they pulls back from the fence line. And now coming up on that flank. Yep, there's Matt Cawthorn from 13 Georgia. Looks like he's going to have a nice angle on the uh, NYV here. Right whale. That's why they shouldn't have stayed there. They should have uh, moved further to the fence and stopped like 20 yeah, meters. Yeah, they're, they're basically wiped now. Man, it's like, what, we're down to 5, 4? <laughs> oh, yeah. And if, if the CSA Three. now, CSA now can push point. They have enough people to knock this out now. Yep, Eddie's pulling back. back. Eddie's pulling back now, but uh, we'll have to see if the Union can hold long enough. They still have some units back here. Six New York still back here, and you still have LFL and fourth uh, New Jersey forward here. Uh, do you think the CSA should uh, attempt a full attack here, or do you think they just uh, wait for the next point? I mean, they got two minutes. The tickets are right now evened out, but that doesn't matter because they drop one entire morale stage if the Union keeps the point. Um, they have they have taken the uh, left flank of the Union entirely. And looks like they are now making a little bit of a push here onto the Arty. I think they I think they could push it honestly. I think they could. Yeah, I, I think they can too. I, I I would. I mean, they don't really have two minutes. They have until that bar goes all the way, and I think it's about a minute thirty to be honest. Oh yeah. True. So it's it's about it's about what you you know it's it's, it's about the same, but um, the longer you wait, the Union uh, might get some more reinforcements in. Like A and V's already gotten some more men back in. Oh yeah, TKO does a really good attack here. They need to hit the CSA on that side in order to get people on the fence line and then shoot them in the sides. But I don't think that the CSA will go for the attack now because they almost have the point capped and I don't think they want to risk losing more tickets. No, I think I, I, th this. I think it's over now. Yeah, they, there was a window. I think I think it's closed now. Um, and it's tough. Because, uh, like you said, that's a full morale state. You get to go down, but uh, you know you don't want to waste uh, tickets needlessly, and you want to have your men in a better position to take the next point. One hundred percent. Also, Un Union is now at the fence line backer A and B. What I what I said before that they should maybe put a unit there. And now, then this next point is going to be interesting. Oh, right it's, a bit, it's, a, it's a bit of a rush for this next point here. A race here, right? Between the uh, 11th MS and uh, A and V under Killer and uh, Parker's boys. Yep, so we'll see who wins it. CSA will get there first, I think. This is one Union guy out of spawn moving towards point. They're, they're right here, Rips on the left, rip on the left. Rips Volunteer the left. Pearl from the A and V. Yeah. Push in, push in. Uh, looks like we're going to meet basically at the uh, point. I think the CSA will have that for now, but there's more and more Union coming in. CSA gets a decent line formed up now that Union has to push off. That's what I meant at the start of the game. Look at all these people now converging around this one point. If you scroll out, you can see all those all those flags just squeezing in. Yeah, it looks like the CSA kind of has this little readout. Uh, the point is kind of on this little, you know, raised position with a couple rocks in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I mean, the uh, UEC unit got knocked out entirely. Oh yeah, it did. Oh wow. Those Union elements are now um, basically cut off from their spawn. They can be entirely wiped now if the CSA pushes, but they got point. They don't need to push. No, I think they've uh, they've got this initial. We'll see if they can hold it here. So do you think the Union should uh, disengage and, and kind of figure out a new avenue of attack, or do you think they keep the pressure on right now for these uh, units that are remaining up here? Well, their spawn is behind them, so they can have people coming in from behind them and flanking them. Um, but right now, I think if you just shoot them on, on range a little bit without getting charged, you you won't do anything wrong. But you shouldn't you should be aware of you have less people than the CSA has right now because multiple units got knocked out, so they shouldn't risk being too close or volley them so they can uh, 
So just try so to keep their attention a little bit, you think, until the reinforcements come up? Oh yeah, just keep them busy a little bit until the uh, reinforcements come up, because there's one group already moving up behind them again. Uh, yes, yes there is. Uh, looks, yep, looks like Victor and his guys are coming up. Um, I don't know if they have enough punch, but we'll see. It looks like they're gonna hit, uh... The 20th, but HL is gonna move in to reinforce pretty easy. Good move by HL. And the Union is pushing in now. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they're kind of hitting this flank over here. CSA is kind of charging now. I think there was a mistake. Oh, yeah, up there. yeah I, think, I think that was a bit of an overcommitment, maybe. Yep, here comes 13 Georgia. Keep an eye on your right flank, gentlemen. It is hard to see in these woods, though, I'm not going to lie. The Union is almost split in two here. CSA consolidates, doesn't overextend. Yep, I think, I think they held that pretty well, um, and that's going to unbalance the Union, I think. Because uh, now those guys are going to have to spawn back in main since the flag's down. Oh yeah, exactly. And, I mean, they're moving out as one force out of spawn, which is good. No, but... that, that, that is good, it's just, you know, by the time they get there, you know, we're probably going to be, you know... You know, maybe a little bit over halfway done, so you, you only have so many opportunities to attack. Exactly, and 11th MS is now pushing up. That will entirely cut off those people from the Union spawn there. Yeah, the, the CSA can basically team wipe the Union over here. The, the rest of it, if they all push up. Oh, yes, they can, yes. LFL against 11th MS here. Oh, no, we're, they're, they're scared. oh, they got a second Union flag down as well. No, it is scared. Look down there yeah. the drop. Officer, now the reinforcements are close to arrive. First unit is about to hit them on the flank here. It's uh, ADF New York. Here we go. Yep, here comes James Wesley, but he's getting intercepted. Looks like uh, Gene is moving out. Being called out, it's A and V. Even though it, it's, it's, it's always it's funny to hear them. Like, oh, it's it's Eddie or A, hey, it's Killer, or, hey, it's Doug. It's, it's like no, it really is. And there comes A and V. There you go, Gene. Oh, you here's A and V. Yeah, you you summoned them. You say you, you, you know, speak Killer's name, and he appears from behind. Gene's now, what have I done? I accidentally summoned the A and V. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, but 20th Georgia had a battle line uh, behind him, and Killer's gonna kind of pull back. I think he saw the uh, burning on the wall there. The UEC charged out the 11th MS. Impressive. Oh, he did. Oh, the Union might have a. Uh... See, it looks like they got a little bit more of a uh, flank attack possibly happening against Fort Georgia on this far side here. They don't have enough people to pull off an attack, though. No, you're probably right. Again, they, they keep getting these flags knocked down. This is really hurting them. And they're not picking them up. Yeah, it's it's this is a big problem for the Union right now. Is these now? They, I mean, there's a CSA flag that SB is sitting on, which is fine, but I would disengage entirely now if I'd be the Union. That's uh, you're losing you're losing tickets right now. You shouldn't bother trying to take this back. You can't. You don't have enough people. And well, it's yeah, because yeah. I I I, I, I in alone. I think you're right, and it's tough to coordinate because we see how thick. It's hard to see, you know, with the overhead camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you, we're not down there, and it's a forest, so, you know, and no steam chat. Yeah, no steam chat, no right. no comms. Exactly. Looks like twentieth is moving up here against the UEC. Let him up, Jim. Let him up. Oh, uh, more CSA uh, moving forward in the attack. Spill war, boys. Yeah, I, do, I think they're they're sick of having the Union sitting there, so they're just gonna deal with that and just remove them from that area there. What do you think of that move? Do you think it's uh, worthwhile, or do you think it might uh, be a dangerous move? Definitely, if they can knock out those flags um, and keep them knocked out, that's gonna weaken the Union for the next point for the first minutes. You're right. If it's uh... Yeah, absolutely, because everybody will spawn back in Maine and they won't have a flag to recap. 
Looks like LFL has gotten two flags out though, which is good. HL outflanks one part of ANV and now is being outflanked by the other part of ANV. It looks like HD's coming in to help as well. They might be able to hold them then together. More and more people coming in. Mm. Yeah, as soon as I got that. Yeah, with that re HD reinforcement, I think they were successful. Very good uh, teamwork by the HD. Uh, Oh, and let me ask you, what do you think of the teamwork right now by the CSA team? Uh, well, they they do one thing better than the Union. They, if they go in, they go in together. They don't go in alone with, like, one regiment. They went in, like, with two when they wiped off this right side here. You can still see those two regiments there uh, standing closely together. Um, I think it's better communication right now on the CSA side. Um, and they have been uh, winning those melee combats more than the Union was. Yeah, I think I think you're right about that, and it looks like uh, CSA will capture this point. I think the Union's given up on the other one, um, which I think is probably, excuse me, the right uh, idea now. We'll see where the next point is, and it'll be a uh, slight advantage to the CSA, actually. Definitely. So where's this point? Oh, that's going to be... Oh, CSA has a great opportunity. It's very close to their spawn, and they're between the Union... And, uh, well, that's perfect for the CSA, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one for the Union here. How many flags does the Union have knocked out? Let me see. No flags knocked out, apparently. Yeah, it looks like they might have respawned at this point, or... Yeah, I think they might have respawned. Yeah. So, there's this one... LFL is now moving. I was about to say you need to be quicker, but... They were just on the move... I could say that. Yep. Yeah, this is, uh, let's take a look at this point over here. Oh, this is the one over here. Yeah, it's a tough one right on the road. Yeah, the storm wall is going to be great to defend people coming from that field. Yeah, and again, it's so close to CSA spawn. You don't even really need to have guys spawn flag. It's, it's right down the road from CSA spawn. Oh, yeah. One CSA regiment moving to intercept the Union entirely. Is, ah, is this this, HL? Is this, yeah, it uh, looks like an NHL move from GNU. Yes, yeah, so we've seen this a couple times from uh, different units here. I kind of like, uh, what do you think of the interception move? Well, look contest? at this, and now the Union is following HL. And now another CSA unit comes up with full full shots um, to, to intercept them. I don't know why they are following them. A bit of a yes. rope dope yeah! It has no purpose to push that regiment if you need to go for the point. No, oh, and if Really good uh, shots there by 20th. And that, that's how you lose even more tickets. Because that's now skirmishing out of line deaths right there, following those people. Yeah, so really good combo between the HL and 20th there. Very impressive here. It looks like the rest of the Union, though, is continuing. But that was a decent amount of men they just lost. And some time. The CSA to get set on point. Oh, and there's other units that are still like 11th MS is kind of in this interception position as well. Oh, yeah. And they don't have to engage them, they can just pull back and lead them into oh, the rest one, of the team. Yeah, once, and it looks like that's what's happening. Look what they uh, just did to uh, bring him into 13th Georgia. Exactly. And the Union, still, they have to remember they have those regiments on the sides there, and they lost people pushing those. And now they're going in for frontal assault there. And they also tried to cross the field there, that didn't end very well. Oh, reinforcements are coming up. Here comes decoys. TKO. More Union reinforcements. Killer is coming in as well. Yeah, but none of this action is really on the flag, which is the problem. And even if you kill the CSA, they just respawn by their, you know, by their spawn, which is two feet away from the flag. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be very rough for the Union to take this. They just need to pray they're not falling down to breaking, so they're going to be last stand. Ah, uh, that, 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 that might be. And that's what the CSA has in mind now as well. You can see the mo units move pushing up here. They have it in mind as well. They they think if we push into breaking now, we're going to be uh, we're going to be winning the game. Yeah. They take this point. Looks like it. they are setting some units forward here. Although it looks like the Union's got a defensive line kind of forming up a hodgepodge of units here. Yes, they have many gaps, come on. 
Yeah, yeah fourth Georgia moved up a little bit, putting some shots over here. Ineffective right now, not many deaths. You see you standing strong over here. Looks like Zio's over here as well. He might have a decent flank though, opening up. He heads over to the uh, southeast, I think. Definitely. You gotta, Fourth cross Georgia. That, you gotta cross that field, which is dangerous, but... Yeah, Fourth Georgia being shot up by the UEC, they have to pull back now. Yeah. I don't think, uh, yeah, that's a... Looks like a bit of a stalemate in that sector. I think it's gonna be this uh, Union right side here. Southeast, if they're gonna make anything open, that's the direction I think they gotta go. Yeah, I mean, they have the Stonewall there, and they can perfectly shift left and right and intercept them. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, it looks like Fort George is kind of moving to protect that flank a little bit. Yep. DB, is, DB and TKO are holding on point. TKO is doing really well so far. Yeah, yeah, like I said, they are a um, new unit. Um, I think this is the first time they've been in HRE, so good to see them performing. Definitely, definitely. Hope they stick around. Union has a maybe a, a tiny number advantage here on this left flank, but I think it's more evened out honestly right now. So any any push they do, each, if each side makes a push now, it's gonna not work out unless they entirely flank around, which the CSA is doing right now. Yeah, HL's uh, got, a, got a good flank and has just nailed a two USC there. And that will and the, turn. No, he's gonna head back in though. But again, he's just playing for time, I think. You know, you don't have to, you know, win the fight. You just gotta hold the point for another couple minutes. Yeah, and on the other hand, if they get him down to breaking, though, they're gonna be last stand and win the game if they do so. So yeah. that's why the CSA is staying in the gunfight right now, I believe. See Zio's trying to do that flank on the right side. I just don't think he has enough men. No, you'd need at least half of the team to do the flank over there. It's it's not not a bad move, but. They also have no flag, so if they get volleyed once... Oh, yeah, they it's... it's no they, they need more. Yeah. And CSA is doing everything right now. But, but the Union did perfectly at the first point. Now they are charging. Here they come. They might be able to succeed a little bit here if they get their reinforcements up. It's a, it's a gunfight. I mean, the problem is if you lose, you're going to be on breaking. So this is kind of an exactly. all-or-nothing gambit right now. Which might not be a bad thing. It might be good to do an all-or-nothing gambit right now. CSA is now counter-charging and squeezing in. Yep, you got Canada coming in on this right side, too. Very good move, very good move. LFL is still standing up behind a little bit, so they will be able to shoot Canada down as he, as he flanks. I think the CSA should put, move up now and keep shooting them out. There's one unit flanking over here. Gamebot is flanking right now on the side. Oh, yeah, so is, uh, yep, he is. And then you got Fourth Charger as well with Liam coming out on the uh, CSA left. Well, the entire CSA left flank is now exposed because of that. Yeah, that's, I'm wondering if uh, Zio might try to make his move now and try to decap. Even if he just decap. Uh, that'll keep you in the fight. Exactly, but well, there's one force on point they would need to knock off. But now Gamebot is moving entirely around them, and uh, that that's now a good move. That's what the Union has to do if they want to win this. Yep, I mean, he's got, uh, looks like it's just DB is the main, well, I guess HG's pretty close to him too. And TKO, TKO's on too far. They needed more on this other flank than just Zio. They do, they do. And... HD has probably seen them. Yeah, HD seen them. HD has seen Gamebot. Gamebot goes down and they don't have a flag, so yeah. they're with no officer left But now. his attention's there. Uh, if Zio's gonna make a move, now is the time. Beautiful move by TKO. Beautiful. <laughs> they might not have enough men to knock out A and V here. Oh, DB spotted them. Yeah, that's over. Yeah, you had to go in unspotted, and you got you got. You got safe to charge now. Uh, get yeah, try to get him into breaking, and then put him on last stand and line the match. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Zeal's gonna try, they but they, they spotted him. It's too late. He's just gonna get massacred. Well, this push by six LA might put the unit into breaking. All very close to it, at least. Uh, that's out of line tickets. They are. 
Keep an eye on that left. Very left. close, very close. Another one, Volunteer Pearl. He died now. And Union is starting in there. They are now with that charge. I, I think they have uh, decided it's time to move on to the next map. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And they have just killed themselves basically with that. Yep. So, um, yeah, any final, you know, we kind of, the game, the game is over. So any, uh, any final thoughts on how the map went? Well, I think and what was crucial is that the CSA knocked out those units at the second point at the beginning there and won their engagements there and basically defined that as the most important point there, the second point in the, in the forest, keeping the Union and split up into two groups. Um, as the Union was one group on the first point, the CSA was not able to push them off. Um, and the CSA stayed as one big, big group the entire game. They were doing pushes together. They were basically um, just staying next to each other in a forest. And then you can basically get outflanked. Because if one unit spots them, the other one can react. Even if one unit gets flanked, enough people can react to, you know, intercept. So in a forest map, you should always <laughs> stick together as a team. Definitely with uh, over 330 people on the server. Uh, oh, wow, yeah, we got a couple more people in, so it's uh, very close to a full server. Always good to see. Yeah, I would agree. I, I mean, I really liked uh, the interceptions. I, I, I was a big fan of that. Um, a and V did one. Uh, SB, well, SB, uh, UEC did it. Uh, HL did a great one with 20th uh, Georgia. So uh, I was really glad to see that tactic. It slows the advance down, and again, it puts the attention on something you shouldn't really pay attention to. And, yeah, like, like you shouldn't follow an interception force. You should keep moving onto your target and maybe try to even avoid that interception. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know. You gotta keep in mind uh, what the goal is, but if you can put the enemy on the uh, back foot, that's always a good thing. And even though the game is over, you can, you can see another bit of an interception force there going towards the Union spawn. Oh, no, they're left facing. Uh, yeah, looks like HL just missed uh, the A and B. <laughs> he turned in just too soon. Gene didn't summon killer this time. Nope, nope, he did. Yeah, well, GG's well played from the CSA, well played from the Union at the first point. After that, they were basically... Um, yeah, well, I mean, that, that, third, that third point was a tough one, though, for the oh, Union. Yeah. Um, so really, it was one on that second point, like you said. That's what won it. They are now moving as one group, trying to take the enemy on the flank. But they are getting counter-flanked now, so they would need to stop and form a line now if they want to hold that. I mean, the game is over, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HL... You know. Gene is on very, very good performance today. Even though he just got stabbed by Private First Class Daddy Cool. Well, but you know, it, it happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Happens to me a lot of times as well. Always at the front. So yeah, very well played. I think uh, HL probably did very good on the CSA side here to level, together with uh, TKO 11th MS. Seen those people being at the front the entire game. And on the Union, I believe, A and V was, uh, was doing pretty good in LFL. They were always trying to stay in the fight for as long as they could, and yeah. UEC for doing that interception wiping 11 FMS once. Yep. Oh, look at this! The Union's on, on the point! <laughs> <laughs> this, this one guy is gonna try and push him off. Oh. Yeah, they want a form square. Formation. Square formation. <laughs> Get the four feathers here. <laughs> Oh hell yeah, man! Where's an ace cavalry charge? Well, no horses in the game yet. Uh, this looks like the Zulu charge now. This is oh my god! This is a slaughter. Yeah, yeah just having some fun at the end, you know. The, the great last stand of the A and V. There now we every go. unit is organized. This is just an ass at this point. Hold charge, cease charge. <laughs> and there we go. 
one more union unit. Can they do it? <laughs> the Tigers are moving up. The six Louisiana Tigers. Oh, the Italians are the last ones, huh? <laughs> the tree of life is going to protect the flags even though they don't need them anymore. <laughs> and they're trying oh, they're still, they're still <laughs> hanging out with the flags! <laughs> Come on, those poor uh, boys. And oh, there we go. Oh, that was a fun one, man. Thank you, Doug, for uh, co-commentating. Again, uh, there's a link in the description to the Fort Georgia if you want to see Mr. Doug's unit. And you guys are... Um, CQB. <laughs> I, I said Fort Georgia. Jesus Christ. Yeah. CQB. <laughs> CQ, well, I do have the right link, though. I made sure I had the right, right link for CQB in there. God Perfect. almighty. I had Fort Georgia like the past four commentaries. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, I wouldn't C want to be a four in fourth Georgia. I got to say that much. <laughs> oh man, but no CQB, CQB, Coquitz Brigade. You know, and you guys do many. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk. Do a quick overview on the next round. So, anyway, that's it for the first one. See you all for the next one.